If you're shopping for a minivan, you've probably heard of the Honda Odyssey or the Toyota Sienna or one of the minivans from Chrysler. But there's another option out there. There's the Kia Sedona. The Sedona has been on sale a while. A 2011 update brought a new 3.5 liter V6. This engine has plenty of power, but it has a rough growl under heavy acceleration. Even with a six-speed automatic, fuel economy in our tests falls below that of better minivans. Handling is nothing to write home about. The Sedona lacks agility. It feels ponderous in the corners with vague and artificially heavy steering. The Sedona is noisy inside. Wind noise builds with speed and interferes with conversation with passengers in the back. And there's also some road hiss that comes through. On the plus side, the ride has good isolation, muting most impacts. However, the van rocks and pitches at times when cruising on the highway. It isn't totally settled. Visibility is pretty good thanks to a low belt line and large windows. The backup camera in the rear view mirror is pretty small, but it's still helpful. With big doors front and rear, getting into and out of Sedona is really easy. Fit and finish is decent with the padded dashboard, and most components fit together well. The controls are really simple. The buttons and knobs are all really large, but it can be a little bit of a reach to these buttons in the center of the console. Unfortunately, it's hard for the driver to get comfortable in the Sedona. The steering wheel doesn't telescope, and it tilts only in coarse steps which makes it hard to dial in right. There are power adjustable pedals, but they're really only useful for short drivers. Taller drivers found the pedals to be too close and the steering wheel too far away. The footwell is also narrow and the shifter surround intrudes into space. The front seats are wide and firmly padded, but the bottom cushions are short. The seats just aren't all that supportive. The Sedona has a lot of interior storage, but not actually that much for a minivan. There are bins and drawers in the front dash, but there's only a tray table between the front seats. Most minivans nowadays have a giant console there. The second row seats are roomy, but there's no center seat. So unlike the Sienna or the Odyssey, the Sedona seats only seven. Here's a backseat DVD system. It's a bit behind the times with only one screen. You can only control it with the remote or these buttons here. A parent buckled in the front seat can't change discs or control the system from the dashboard. And if you wanted to get into the third row seat, the best way to do that is to squeeze between the second row seats. Once you're back here, there's plenty of room, but the seat is pretty flat and low. Like other minivans, there's plenty of cargo room. If you're using the third row seat, there's still a deep well here for luggage. If you're not using the third row seats, they fold flat into the floor. If you need even more room, the second row seats can be flipped and folded out of the way where they can be secured. They can also be removed completely, but they're really heavy. So the Sedona is a roomy family vehicle and it costs thousands of dollars less than similarly equipped competitors. But the minivan market is one where you get what you pay for. The Sedona is an okay vehicle, but there's better choices out there.